If you grew up with a smartphone in the mid to early 2010s, you're probably familiar with a whole variety of mobile games. One of my personal favorites back in the day was Asphalt 8, arguably the closest thing to a proper racing game on a mobile device back when it was released in 2013. This game kept me busy for many boring summer vacations, and while it's still alive and available, it has become borderline unrecognizable over the years. Microtransactions, limited race entries, premium currencies, and a broken economy turned this neat little racing game into a cash cow that's trying to squeeze as much money out of their players as possible. And so if you're like me and wanted to revisit Asphalt 8 at some point, the disappointment was sheerly immeasurable. But it doesn't need to be this way any longer. In fact, there is a way to restore the game to its former glory. Using some PC wizardry, we can revert Asphalt 8 back to its release version and re-experience the game the way we all remembered it best. You can find a tutorial on how to set up the game down in the description below if you are interested. But for me personally, it was time for a trip down memory lane when mobile racing games were actually still enjoyable. So this is basically the state uh, the game released in. You can already see it. There isn't any... like You don't have like eight fucking different currencies. No fueling system. You don't have blueprints. Like I can actually just get into the dealership and buy a car at like semi-reasonable prices here. Now, to be fair, since it is the first version of the game, there aren't that many cars available. I think around like... 50. So I don't have all those cars that they added in updates, but at least they're somewhat reasonably priced. Like actually how the game is supposed to be played and it's all on PC too. It's really just what you would want out of a game like this. I actually can use your controller too to navigate. This is pretty good. Uh, no, I don't need a tutorial. I'm good. I'm sure they can paint this car differently already, right? Man, this is already such a throwback. But I really like the yellow actually. Over the yellow back in asphalt 8 after um, honestly i haven't it's been it hasn't been too long since i last played the game i played the regular version from the windows store but i cheated <laughs> i knew i was going to get banned and i tried to make the most out of um, that one day that i gave myself to stream the game uh just so that i can have fun with the game and yeah sure enough next day after the stream i got banned for 14 days but now this actually lets you play the game properly i have not played that many of the ones in between i did play asphalt 1 and 2 on the ds i think i had the java version of 3 on my ipod nano i think it was i did play a little bit of asphalt 7 and that one banged asphalt 7 was really good but that's really hard to get running nowadays and that's the problem with mobile games. Data preservation for these mobile games is so bad. Okay, I can redo that event for one star. Now, remember, stars are really important here if you want to unlock the next seasons. But this was really good to play the game again in its prime. Just not being bothered by all those secondary currencies, no blueprints, fuel system. Like, you can just play the game, you know. It's pretty nice. And it's called this was a fucking great game. Not even just for mobile game, but just in general. Oh, man, also the, the music was really good, I gotta say. Okay, we can already buy the Audi, and we need to at some point anyways for these two events. Can I go here? No, okay. <laughs> Thought maybe that's a shortcut, but no. Well, this is just as fun as I remember, though. Like, just the gameplay. Feels so smooth, you really gotta try it yourself. Especially if you like the Burnout games, this is fantastic. Game was better in 2019. <laughs> oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you how this game was all the way back in 2013, man. <laughs> you missed out, my friend. You missed out. I think the game actually launched as a pay-to-play game. Like, you actually had to pay money to play the game at first. So we can either buy the Tesla or we buy the uh, Audi. Yeah, let's go, let's go for the Tesla. Actually, the Tesla is more expensive. I'm uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, save my money for now, I think. Fake R8. It's electric. I'll just give it a proper color and then it's a, a properly fake R8. <laughs> and the car's so silent. Listen to this. <laughs> Wee. And yeah, this this game mode is basically just straight up road rage. <laughs> oh wow, the night just was just long enough. <laughs> and then I, oh god, what's happening to my car? <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, that was unfortunate. Oh wow. What the fuck was that timing? I knocked out my opponent literally right as I won. Like as the timer went up. I can buy a caddy. I have a hard time believing that one's faster. Ah, oh, we get another thousand credits unlocking the season. Ah, it was a score limit. Ah, okay. I thought it was a timer. I mean, in that case, it was pretty fitting anyways that he was the last one. <laughs> I'm not sure if drifting... Dude, what is this? <laughs> What is this traffic doing? Uh, yeah, okay. Casual traffic accident? Why not? <laughs> ah, damn. 
<laughs> I was hoping to do like a near miss. Ooh. Another electric. I'm gonna stick to this electric audio until I die. Yeah, it seems like a good upgrade. I'm gonna stick to this electric audio until I die. Alright, just destroy everyone. Okay, I think we may win this though. Oh wait, it's two laps. Fuck! I gotta survive for one more lap. Which I like so much more about this asphalt. I don't know why, but in asphalt 9, the races are so fucking short. They're like 30 seconds. Obviously, in 30 seconds, there isn't really much happening. Okay, there we go. Did I complete my objectives? I need two knockdowns. Fuck. I just don't pay attention, man. I always look way too late. Used to bash this game all the time with your dad. Yeah, that's pretty nice. This game really carried me through a lot of boring vacations. <laughs> Bro, why are you playing asphalt? Imagine playing games that I actually enjoy. He could have come in here and said that yesterday with Fast and Furious Showdown. That would have been a valid question. I would have been like, yeah, why am I playing this? Hey, we can buy the Mito. <laughs> Man, this car reminds me so much of uh, TDO 2. But it wasn't this exact Mito, but a different one. Like, not the GTA. Well, does GTA even mean in that thing? It surely doesn't mean Grand Theft Auto, right? Ah, we have, the, we have a Cadillac, but it's probably way too slow. <laughs> Recommended is 1300. Yeah, no. I remember I used this particular car so much for grinding back when the game was free to play. It's pretty good, you can earn quite a bit of money with this thing. <laughs> God damn it, come on. Okay, now we should have enough money for the Audi. That would mean I will spend all of my money now, but then at least I never have to buy another D-Class car again. There's one that's faster, like the 350Z. It's actually quite a bit faster, but not enough, not enough to warrant like twice the price. I can't just upgrade the Audi. Goodbye money. I don't think I ever used this car in this game, by the way. I never got this far. The Audi. Precisely. That's like, call me boring. I like the black. But this is a, a stream or, and a game where I'm... Re I really can't wait to get a YouTube video out. Because I just want to hear everyone's stories and connection to the game. I can't wait to can't wait to read comments of people reminiscing about the game. Okay, can I make it this time? Oh, what the... Yo, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was, that was a flat spin at an angle. <laughs> hey, there we go. We unlocked season two. Without a whole bunch more events that we can do. Yeah, honestly, for 2013 phone game, this was really impressive. Like, the, the jump in graphics and gameplay was really insane. Like, it still looks really good. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't really look like a mobile game, if you ask me. It just looks like something that released last decade. That's kind of it. Whoa, okay. Car coptering simulator. <laughs> okay, that's pretty accurate. Wow. All right, that should give us all the money we need. And I already know exactly what I want to buy. This GTR. I hope it's good. Let's get it. The way I've been progressing through the game is I usually buy the cheapest cars. Obviously, in D-Class, you start with the Dodge Dart. Didn't buy anything else. Saved my money until I could buy the Audi S7. And then just start killing everything. Did it as well for this, this B-Class stuff, you know. Started with the Citroen, which actually was pretty good. Didn't buy any upgrades. Tried to use it for as long as I could. Until I could afford this decent GTR. The fuck, man? What? <laughs> okay. Right, we can try this Cadillac again. Because we're buying our first A-Class car now. Boom. Looks pretty nice, gotta say. <laughs> How many barrel rolls gonna do? And I actually counted all seven there. I counted it in a combo. Oh, it's still counting the combo. Nine. Wonder if there's an achievement for doing ten in a row. You really hate this track? I think it's pretty nice. Yeah, I think the best tracks in um, Asphalt 8 were the ones that got added in updates. I remember one in like China. I think it was China. That one was fucking great. That one was amazing. Take the content from the updates and make it so that the economy is shit. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Honestly, I only see that happening when the game gets taken offline. But out of the base game, I don't know. Maybe the Alps. Hard to say. As I said, they, they all feel similar, like, similar in terms of quality. I love when the game says, No! You've played enough! Touch some grass. Wow, will I actually get infected in the beginning here? No, I will not. What the fuck? So I crashed out the guy, meaning he was last, and the countdown went to zero. He got infected, but because I was still touching his corpse, it infected me as well. Holy shit, I have never seen that. I really like the Alps. I think this might be my favorite track, actually. It's probably the smallest track now that I think about it. But I think that actually works in its favor. Asphalt 8? More like Asphalt 8 years ago was better. <laughs> Facts. Asphalt 8?
Wohl ihr Asphalt achtet darauf, dass ich unter einer Brücke schlafe. <lacht> I can't translate that one. That pun only works in German. Uh, that's German exclusive content right there. Asphalt 8 or more like 8 times more expensive than my yearly salary. <lacht> I am surprised. I, I thought we'd already run out of uh, puns. The main problem with the Audi, though, the NOS does not last whatsoever. It pisses the NOS away super quickly. I'm not sure if that's um, determined by the car class or if that's just the car. Just the car. So you're telling me I bought garbage. It doesn't cost much, so I think you could at least buy the first wave of... Um, Fuck was that? Oh, they actually made the most expensive car more expensive. Uh, very cool. Yeah, they just want to keep up with inflation, guys. That's all. They're not greedy. They just want to keep up with inflation prices, you know? You need to really spend your money wisely. Just because I can afford it doesn't mean I should buy it. Ah, what a sick joke! <laughs> what the fuck, man? The last section on Nevada is actually AIDS. I, hate, I always hated it. For this exact reason. Hey, ooh, we added a new car, and ooh, it costs 50 euros in real world money. Yeah, okay, cool, shove it up your ass. Surprise, motherfucker. What? <laughs> I thought I was safe. I thought I was safe until the finish line. I thought I was safe. The fastest cars from one class, goodbye. <laughs> There's no time for swimming. I need 99 more stars. Where the fuck am I supposed to get those? All right, three, two, one, bam. Big boy purchase. Okay, this thing has ridiculous amount of grip. Oh, fuck this shit track, man. Bojack, it would make sense. You can't license a country. You go through phases, you know? You go through phases where you struggle beating opponents and beating races. And then you go through phases where you're just completely clapping everything. So yeah, in terms of new cars, honestly, the only thing that's left now would be buying an overpowered S-Class car. But first of all, I think the Veneno is still really good. And it's probably gonna still take a while. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, the most expensive buy, for sure. 200% then update the game. See, when you update the game, you lose your progress, you know? I had to learn that the hard way. That's why I wrote... I added that into the uh, Google document that I made for this. I didn't turn off auto-updates in, in on the Windows Store. And then I woke up the next day after I streamed this the first time. And uh, yeah, I saw my game get updated. And with that, it also deleted my progress. Hey, yo, what the fuck was that? The physics do not like me anymore, it seems. I think I'm winning too much. Asphalt 8? More like 80% completion and no more. You wish you could get to 80% completion. You wish you could get that far. I think in the modern version you already get content locked in season 2. At the very latest. But I want to give this game one more chance because we're literally just missing the, um, the final season. And I've never been there. Barrel here? What the? It's not a barrel. Yeah, exactly. If you wanted to actually beat Asphalt 8, you had to play early, man. You had to, you had to be an early adopter. No, not Camaro. It's not a Camaro. A Corvette. What? The rubber band? What the fuck? I know they're fast, but that was uncharacteristic. Man, I was bullshit. I probably won't sponsor for you if you know I talk trash about their games. But I don't talk trash about their games. You talk trash about their games. You're the ones with the text-to-speech jokes all the time. If I do get paid by Gameloft, I'm not immune to... I don't want to say manipulation. But obviously, if I'm gonna get paid to play something or look at something, there's a part of me that, you know, maybe enjoys it a little bit more than... If I wasn't paid to check it out. Does that make sense? It's something that happens to content creators. And it's a... I think it's a perfectly human thing. It has nothing to do with people being sold out. And that's something that I'm kind of worried about. That if, if that were to ever happen, that my view on the game may not be 100% authentic and genuine. If that were, were to happen, that would give me a lot of free tokens and stuff. So that I can actually show stuff off on the stream. So I never actually run into the problem of, you know, running into paywalls. So that's obviously like a huge criticism that I just wouldn't mention because I didn't encounter it. I still really like the system, man. I was say. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> what you think, Ed? Uh, I think if you want to get to these final events here, you actually have to, like, complete everything. Like, you actually have to collect every star in the game. Like, all 1,000 that they are. That's gonna be really fucking impossible, man. 
It's just so ridiculous how many barrel rolls you can get there in quick succession. And Vinino was voted the ugliest car of 2013? No way. I mean, I think it looks a little bit over-designed, if you ask me. Nah, ugliest car of 2013? I'm sure there were at least, like, some shitty SUVs. Like, I wouldn't call this car ugly. Honestly. Like, this is still the... The, the fuck?! This fucking bus out of fucking nowhere? Fuck was that? MLG moment, yeah. That's that song has been ruined by memes. 4%. Let's go! Let's go! Like I, I remember the sound of all of these sound bites. Shit. Uh, why is that sticking out? <laughs> why would you build it that way? Why? Once we get to 600 stars, this is where shit becomes hard to unlock here. But you make the grind fun in a racing game. Well, I mean, first of all, you don't want to have any grind uh, that's necessary. So if you do grind, you grind it because you want to and not because it's necessary. Like the, the motivation behind the grind should come from you. And then there should be multiple ways to grind. Like not just doing one event that is far more efficient than the rest. You know, but you actually get your money from different sources, you know. So how do, how do I do this? <laughs> We look for the value, like the money, right? 211, 421. There's only this address. <laughs> Must be the one then. Oh. <laughs> okay, it worked. <laughs> nice. Alright, and now the game is gonna be fun again, because now we actually got cash. <laughs> 20 cars. Okay, perfect. <laughs> look how expensive these upgrades get. You know how much grinding that would require? <laughs> I'm gonna have to get myself money again. And uh, that's not even all. Like, I also need other cars. Like, I need a better A-class car. Yeah. I need another cash injection. Thank you. <laughs> this is fucking fantastic, man. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Whoa, what the fuck was that? I lose this now, man. Oh, wow. What a fucking respawn, dude. Even if I cheat, even if I cheat, the game still finds ways to fuck me. That is unbelievable. Hey, cool. Thank you. I can now... I this car. The, those three crashes at the end, they were definitely justified, 100%. Now I actually have the freedom to also switch between cars, right? Like, I actually can try out different cars, which I think makes this more fun again. Like, usually in this game, you need to stick to every car that you buy. But now I actually have the freedom to just switch around between cars and just try stuff out, you know? And once again, my recommendation, play the game legit until you get to the final season. And once you unlock that, just cheat yourself some money. Try out all the cars that you want to try out. And get as many stars as you want to. That's this car in the game. Maxed out. That's not something a lot of people have ever seen. Okay, holy fuck. Holy shit, close to 500. And even without nitrous, look at the top speed, man. Uh, the nitrous efficiency is really shit, though. But to be honest, at such a high amount of um, regular speed, it doesn't really matter, I think. Look how high you can get with this thing. What the hell? But not even comparable to the Venino man. Not even remotely comparable. <laughs> nice! Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Fuck this game. It's just depressing. <laughs> Silver Lightning. That car has always looked really, really strange to me. I want to try it out. Oh, you can actually. Oh, you can even paint it. I didn't know. Uh, so it only has two colors. So this was the car I would have originally gotten had I not cheated. <laughs> no sound? It does have sound. <laughs> Such a bizarre car. How do the tires even work on this? Like the... Uh, if you can even tire, call the tires, the wheels. Like that's just metal. Like what, what's, what's even rotating there? How fast is this thing? Not that fast. Like the Agera is actually way faster, but this thing has much better nitrous efficiency. I think in the long run you would have had to get the Agera and upgraded it. And that requires an absurd amount of grinding. It looks like a platypus from Byte, yeah. yeah. I can see that. <laughs> Worth testing though. So yeah, now that I cheated myself money, I think I think this will be the last stream on the game. There's a good chance just for fun I may complete the rest of the game private off stream. Uh, but I feel like I've just kind of showed everything that there is to show, you know. So yeah, once again, if you want to check this game out yourself, exclamation mark download. I will probably also add um, the instructions for cheating money um, in the document.
for S18. Because I think it's important when you get to the end of the game. And that's probably gonna be it for S18. Really fun revisiting the old version. Once again, if you are interested in playing this early version of Asphalt 8, you can find the tutorial in the description. I've also attached instructions for how to <coughs> print money in the game, should you ever get stuck in the late game. But yes, you can actually complete the whole career with this early version of the game. And in general, the game becomes a lot more enjoyable again, despite the missing update content. But that shall cover everything for now. Thank you all for watching this far, and a special thank you to my patrons for supporting my channel, as well as JakeMG for editing this video. I hope to see you all again soon. Take care.